Do you want to know how I make a beautiful textured vase like this? Keep watching. I start out with a bit more clay than I would usually use for a vase this size. That's because I need the extra thickness to carve in. After raising it to a cylinder and making sure that the surface is super smooth, I'm ready to scratch it. After I've done that, I start expanding it to make the scratch effect, the texture, a little more dramatic. I fine tune the top of the pot with a soft rib. Look at how nice it is! After drying to a little hot state, I trim it to make it as light as possible. That feels good. 